welcome back to yet another studio vlog. I know I just posted one. You might not have been expecting to see me this week, but you know, here I am. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a shorter one, about like two to three days in my life. We're gonna do a lot of Patreon work. We're gonna do a lot of painting in this one, a lot of painting and chatting. And yeah, I hope you like it. Before we get into the rest of the video though, we have to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Ana Luisa. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited to be working with them. If you didn't already know, Ana Luisa is a jewelry company. They make really high quality jewelry at affordable prices. They are carbon neutral from their jewelry to their packaging. I also just enjoy how their jewelry looks. I feel like I'm very picky when it comes to jewelry but I really enjoy a lot of the stuff they have on their website. The designs are very unique, but also very classic. The pricing also ranges from more affordable to around $39 to high-end stuff. So no matter what you're looking for, they have like a really big price range, which I think is cool. From receiving them, I genuinely do think the pieces are pretty high quality. I've worn like cheap jewelry my whole life. So actually having, you know, higher quality stuff in my ears just feels really nice. If you want to treat yourself, you know, some jewelry is really nice. Also, um, if you want to give someone a nice gift, it's also a great option. Whenever I get sponsorships and stuff, I like to, you know, share, see if I can share with my sister. And this time around, I let my sister and my mom each pick one piece. I picked two and I let them each pick one. And yeah, I'm really excited to send them to them. So here are the jewelry pieces that I picked out. So as you can see, the earrings came in these really nice baggies. I got the mini Huggy Hoops. They're super comfortable. I haven't taken them off since I've gotten them. They're really nice quality. I also got these blue, I think they're called the Salome, Salome checker blue earrings. Also really comfortable. I love the style of them. My sister ended up picking out these very bling bling earrings. I think these are called the Suzanne. And then my mom picked out this really beautiful necklace. It's called Mish. I think it's very beautiful. I know she'll love it. Currently, up until Valentine's Day, they're having a buy one, get one 40% off sale, which is also super cool. So feel free to click the link in my description box to check out Ana Luisa. They have really speedy delivery, and from time to time, they have really good sales on their Instagram as well, so check that out. Thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring. Really appreciate you guys, and let's get into the rest of the video. Yeah, I've honestly been having like a pretty stressful time um, the past two weeks. I don't want to say stress because I haven't been like super stressed because I think I have definitely had more stressful periods of time in my life, especially when I was still in college. But the past two weeks have been quite overwhelming, I think just because I've been trying to balance doing a shop update, keeping up with Patreon responsibilities, getting new kittens, and then also ceramics. I think ceramics has been a really big factor in me feeling a bit burned out just because it's a lot, a huge time commitment within my week. And also I tend to go after I finish work. So when I go, I'm already like tired from working. Um, and even though it's something I enjoy, it still is work or it still does have a bit of a tiring aspect to it. Talking about this earlier, cause I had therapy today and I was talking to my therapist about it, about how I'm, I was kind of disappointed because I was just like, oh, I'm gonna take this class. I'm gonna start making all of these things immediately. Um, but when I go, I've been practicing techniques. I've been, you know, listening to my teacher and just, you know, just practicing how to throw better. I haven't really been visualizing, you know, designing products. And my class is coming to a close very soon. Like the six week course is almost over, uh, which is wild because I feel like it just started. So I didn't really get to have like this huge production that I thought I would, but obviously that's fine. These things take a lot of time and I might not have gotten to within this six week period. I can still extend, I can still get a membership at this studio. And I'm very, I'm still proud of myself for making this first step. Big changes take time and that's okay. I think I'm just so naturally really impatient. But the funny thing is, is that I feel like ceramics teaches patience and a lot of like good things. Like I might make a comic about this just cause I feel like ceramics does teach you a lot of life lessons. Like one is patience. Unlike with illustration, I can just sit down and crank out and it'll be done. Ceramics kind of forces you to wait and be patient. Clay takes time to dry. You need to wait for it to become leather hard and then bone dry. You need to wait for it to be fired in the kiln. Then you need to wait to glaze it. It does teach you to not expect instant gratification. Another thing I think ceramic teaches, ceramics teaches you is non-attachment to an extent because sometimes things just explode in the kiln. Sometimes glazes don't react the way you thought they would. So I think another helpful thing is like a lot of non-attachment to objects and yeah. <laughs> 
Anyways, rambles aside, I am going to start developing some sketches for my Patreon originals. I have five to do because another person joined on. I'm gonna put all of my Patreon originals people's names right here. I love you guys so much. Um, there have been individuals in this tier who have been there like from the beginning um, and it just means a lot to me. So shout out, another shout out. So I'm gonna be working on those. I'm gonna do some sketches and then I'm going to cut the paper and start.
I was recently sent this cute little keyboard um, by the company Vissels. They reached out to me and they asked me if they could send me this keyboard. And I said yes. They asked me to do a review and I've been really into like mechanical keyboards lately. So I was very happy to accept this present from them. <laughs> My review. So this baby is $100 which I think is a lot of money, but I also am not very plugged into the mechanical keyboard world, so I don't know how much that is. But what I will say is I kind of like it. In the beginning, I didn't like how like loose it was. It got really difficult to type, but after using it for like two more days, I started to feel like the keys became more tactile. Maybe a keyboard person can explain that to me, why that happened. Um, but I genuinely like, oh, I genuinely really like how it sounds. Um, I wish it was cuter, but I know it's hot swappable um, so I can take like the keys off and like put my own down. I also wish the bottom was white, um, but also it was a present so I didn't want to be like, can I have that instead? <laughs> but I, I do like it. I've been enjoying myself. I do think mechanical keyboards can get really irritating after a while, but I feel like it's kind of funny that I'm like making so much noise at work. I'm like da 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 da. If you built your own, you could get like a nicer sound. You can get the colors you want, everything. But also, like that's expensive and time consuming. So if you're looking for a pre-built nice keyboard and you're look and you are willing to pay a hundred dollars, I would say this is nice. It doesn't really give like the clack 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 sound. It's more like a thok 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 sound. So I've been enjoying it. But yeah, in the beginning it was a bit difficult to type. Now it's easier, and that is my tech review. <laughs> Today is Saturday and my camera just got here so we're gonna unbox it. I'm so excited. Um, look at it. But yeah, this is the Sony ZV-E10 if you're curious. Let's unbox it. So here we've got the battery. I, I, I've been using a Canon so now I have to use Sony's batteries. Oh, and here's the- oh my goodness! I wish they put more padding, but whatever. But check it out! I'm so excited to use this. It's a bit bigger than my last camera. Um, and a lot more expensive, but I feel like it's gonna be great. There's a lot of cool settings on this as well. Um, there's like a button you can press and then the background can blur. And also check this out. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, let me try turning it on.
thought I would pop in and do a little fun voiceover because I feel like everyone really likes voiceovers. I'm not gonna chat too much about the paintings. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on, but I did want to talk about my camera. So I have this issue where I always film super long videos. I think it could be I'm not very good at chopping down on editing. Like when I have a clip, I'm like, oh, I'll just keep it in there. I know everyone really likes long videos anyway, so there's no issue. But this time around, I was like, let me make like a short one week long video. Um, and the video still ended up being pretty long. However, it was gonna be even longer, but because of my camera, um, it ended up being a lot shorter. I had a lot of fun chatty segments that I just didn't include in here. I also had a part of the video where I wanted to kind of show myself doing some cleaning. I have a bit of an organizing clip coming up, but I had a lot more clips. Like I, I cleaned my bedroom. I did a lot of like vacuuming. I did like a random kombucha review, but I couldn't keep those clips in because my camera was really flipping out. I kept the, this Sony camera has this setting called Intelligent Auto, where it just picks the most optimal setting. And I normally keep the Canon camera I've been using up to this point on auto. So I was just like, let me just keep it on auto. But I think the camera really was adapting to every time I moved. Like if I shifted a little bit, it would just adjust. So for a lot of clips, it's just like totally unusable because I'm moving and the the light just keeps on shifting. Like it's very like, ns, ns, ns. like the light changed so much that I was just like, if I can't watch this in editing, I don't wanna make people <laughs> sit through this. Um, and that made me be like, oh shit, do I need to return this camera and buy a new one because the return window is like two weeks. But um, I think I watched some more tech boy YouTube videos and what the what these lads are saying is that maybe I should be shooting in manual instead. And I think the intelligent auto is the culprit here. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna totally abandon this camera just yet, but I do think I need to play around with some of the settings and yeah, technology, ugh, so annoying. I'm like, why can't I just press this button and it looks beautiful? But hopefully this is just be another opportunity for me to learn. And yeah, I just really wanted to film like a very beautiful video for you guys. And I feel like I didn't make that mark, but it's also okay. I know no, no one has complained about my video quality, but yes. Anyways, um, that's like a mini camera update. I don't know if anybody was curious, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna end this voiceover and let you enjoy the rest of this painting segment. Okay, so I've been working on the originals all day. I'm almost done. Here's two of them that are pretty much done done. Um, get you a good look at them. I got this one, this one. They're all a little different, but it's like the same vibe. Um, yeah, they're all really simple, but I'm trying to not be too hard on myself to create like the most amazingly complex piece of art every time I do originals, because I have to make so many and yeah, it, I just need to be easier on myself. Nowadays, I just try to make it as easy for myself as possible. And um, I'm going to be okay with like simple still looks nice. And I know my patrons will still appreciate it. It doesn't have to be like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Rover. Rover, come here. Look at what your son is doing. Is he getting on the counters again? Rover. Rover. Is he outside? Rover. He's blowing right at the doorway. Right at the doorway? Yeah. You think he may maybe he's like, more treats or please open the door so I can go under the bed again. Yeah, he yelled the last time I closed the door and got him out.
my dryer's on, so please excuse um, the sound of my dryer. Um, I just did some cleaning, I put my laundry in, and I did a lot of much needed organizing in my Alex drawers. I have the big one and then the little one, um, and I cleaned out a lot of stuff, so hopefully that'll just make life a bit easier for me. While I was cleaning them, I found these. I got these at like a white elephant situation I went to a while ago. And I didn't have a mechanical keyboard yet, but now that I own one, I thought it'd be fun to customize it a bit. Um, now I'm kind of getting the appeal to um, keyboards and stuff, but I don't love um, the purple. Like I don't love this color scheme. It's not really my vibe, but I love pink. So I thought, like I already started, I'm kind of just putting the pink keys in. Yeah, because I don't like the purple and the purpley pink color, but I feel like if I just put the pinks in, it might look really cute. It's weird, it's kind of weird, like they're all different levels, and I feel like keyboard people might be cringing at me, but I'm a beginner and <laughs> I just want to have a little, little pink situation. As I said before, I'm a newbie, okay? This way. Pull you in a little closer. This is down. Pretty sure this is down. And this is to the left. This is up. Little pop, little pop of color. the clip of me thanking you for being here so i would like to through a voiceover say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you i'll see you in two weeks time also wanted to remind you that anna luisa is having their buy one get one 40 percent off sale so yeah just check out the link in my description thank you anna luisa for sponsoring this video i'll see you guys super soon and yeah bye